Ciao friends! Beth with Thimblehooks. Thanks for stopping by today. I'm going to show you how to make one of my favorite hats. This is one of my favorite designs. Updated it a little bit and I really love it. I stole Random Thursday from Derek this week. And Happy Thanksgiving! So here we go. We're going to make this little hat with a cute little twist right here. It stays up in everything. So now I can put my glasses back on so I can see. I hope you're enjoying my video and my channel. If so, please click that button to subscribe. Thanks! Even though, you know, I love my prims, I'm not going to use my prim right now. This is one of my Knitter Pride Zing, my five that I've been using a lot lately. Notice he does not have a grip or anything because I need to be able to use this end of my hook too. So I'm going to show you what we're going to do here. Make a slip knot. And get them on your hook. You're going to want to have a couple of stitch markers, preferably in two different colors, and I will, you will understand why in a little bit. Let's just chain five. One, two, three, four, and five. And now when we have that many done, I am going to take my hook through the other end and go through my very first chain because I don't want this to be twisted. So there we go. Untwisted now. And now we're going to continue chaining all the way out to 80. When you get to about 10, you'll be able to hold on to this without any trouble. Again, go out to 80. 78, 79, and 80. Now holding everything so nothing comes off. I want one stitch marker in my last chain that I just made and one stitch marker in my first chain that I made so we can see what's going on. So there we go. Now we just want to take our loop that's already on our hook and pull through that very first chain. Chain one in the stitch that I have marked here with blue we want to do a single crochet and move our stitch marker. Because Sometimes when you do that, that first stitch could disappear and we chained 80 for a reason. So what you really want to know is if this fits your head. So you can adjust those numbers a little bit, but I've found that 80 seems to work out pretty well with my five hook and I am using, this was wool and this red is a wool. It's really nice. Nice warm winter hat. Now we want to do a single crochet in every chain all the way around. All the way to our next stitch marker and making sure that we have 80. So there's number three. I'm going to meet you right back over here. And 79. And then make sure you catch this last one. That last stitch where I have my orange marker and that's my 80th single crochet. I'm going to move my stitch marker to the last stitch we just made. It's a little bit easier to follow. Now that you've used this end right here, you can use any hook you want. So I've just did a throwback to my prim again. But you can keep using that hook too. I love these hooks. But I made this one with my prim, so I'm going to use this one with my prim too. So now we have a little loop. This is the perfect time to try it on your head to make sure that it fits. If it is a little bit too snug or a little bit too big, adjust your chain. Just do it with even numbers and all of my math will work for you. And there you see, we don't have any twists, but now we want to make a twist. Still got my last, last chain is marked, my first chain is marked, my loop is on my hook. Now I want to turn this, instead of working into the stitch that's marked in blue, we want to turn it over and work into the other side of the chain where our blue stitch marker is. And now we want to do that again. There's our single crochet on the opposite side of our blue stitch marker. So you want to do single crochets all the way down, all the way around again, but I'm going to move my stitch marker because this is the new side of the blue. Right now we want to do 80 all the way around again. 78, 79, 
and 80. There we go. Now we've worked both sides. And you can see there's a little twist. The fun part about this hat is we started right here. It started right here in the very center. So we're working both directions at once. We're working one side of the chain and then working the other side of the chain. So completing one round is actually 160 stitches, 80 on both sides. So we are right here. So now I want to work opposite of that blue again. Our next sequence is going to be half of our stitches will be a Suzette stitch. So a Suzette is a single and a double in the same spot. But now that I made one stitch, I want to mark it. This is why you want two different colors. Easier to keep track of where you are. So there's a single crochet and a double crochet in the same stitch. That is a Suzette stitch. And to finish that sequence, you have to skip the next chain. Then you do a single and a double in the same stitch and skip the next one. We want to do that all the way around to our blue stitch marker, to the opposite stitch marker that we just started with. We want to keep going until we get to the other one. So repeat, skip and a single and a double in the same stitch all the way around. And I'll meet you very, very near my blue stitch marker. There's my last couple of stitches. So we're almost back to the blue. Skip and a Suzette, which is a single and a double in the same stitch. Skip one, single and a double in the next one. And now you should have one stitch left because that is your skip. You need to skip this stitch to finish your Suzette. And now we're going to jump right over to our blue stitch marker and in that stitch is a single crochet. Just so we can move this marker and show it a little bit closer. Please remember that it really helps my channel when you watch the video all the way to the end. So now you can see that side was worked with all Suzettes and this side is still waiting its turn. We work Suzettes halfway around, which is right here. Now we're going to go down the other side, starting at the blue stitch marker, and these will be all single crochets. All the way around, back to the orange stitch marker. Single crochets in every stitch, and there will be 80. And there's my last stitch, and that was one complete around, because you start here and went all the way around with our Suzettes and then we ended up right here and then we worked all the way around with single crochets and we are working right here. Right here in the center. One side is going to be single crochets and the other side will be Suzettes. Suzettes on top of Suzettes for the first 80 and single crochets on top of single crochets for the second 80 all the way around for a total of 10 rounds. This was round one. So we have to do nine more. Nine more rounds. Suzettes on top of Suzettes, single crochets on top of single crochets. And I will meet you back here after you finish your 10 rounds of Suzette and single crochet. And let's have a couple more single crochets and I'm back around there. Now we have 10 rows of each. There's 10 rows of Suzette right here and on the other side there's 10 rows of single crochet. And I took a stitch marker that I wasn't using for anything else and just put it right here on the right side. Not the wrong side, you could tell the difference very easily with single crochets. I just marked the right side so that I know where that is in a little bit. So now we are ready for round 12 and I'm going to increase all of the Suzette stitches. Anything that was a Suzette, all the way back over to our other stitch marker, we are going to increase. And the way that we do an increase with a Suzette stitch is we do a Suzette right here. 
like we did before, I'm going to move the stitch marker to my first stitch, which was two back. So what we did was our single and our double, and in this same stitch I want to do a single. So there was three stitches in that, in that stitch. Now skip one, and now I want to do the opposite, which was a double crochet, and then the single, and then the double. So what we did, we snuck an extra Suzette stitch in here. So we have single and a double, and then there's a single here, but then there's a double over there. So that makes a Suzette stitch, and then a single and a double in that stitch as well. So all of these are going to be having three stitches each. Skip this stitch. Now this one was a double, single, double, so this one will be a single and a double and a single. Skip, double, single, double, skip, single, double, single, skip. So what you're getting is a single, double, single, double, single, double, single, double, all the way around, but we're increasing it so our flap gets a little bit bigger. Right in here. So we do that all the way around. Skip, and then do the opposite of what you just did. Turn them down to the end. So really what you need to remember for this increase round is you're doing every other stitch. So you always want to do a single, double, single, double, single, double, but they will be in clusters of three. So a single, double, single, or a double, single, double. And there's skips in between. That's how you increase. I have a whole video on increasing and decreasing Suzette stitch. If you have any interest in learning that more, I have a tutorial waiting for you on that. So here's my last stitch. Now which ones did I do? So this one will be a double and a single and a double. So we just increased from 80 in our Suzette round to 120. We did an increase, but we don't want to increase the single crochet side. So skip our last stitch as you do with the Suzette stitch. And now on the single crochet side, just single crochet one in each. 80 single crochets all the way around. And here's my last few single crochets on this half of the hat. There's my last one. You can see how our, far our stitch markers are getting away from each other because we've been working from the inside out. So what we were doing was right down in here and right up in here. Those are the opposite sides of each other. All right, so that was round 12. That was our increase round. That's the only increase round that we're going to have. We want to continue doing what we were doing without an increase. So here's a Suzette single. Move my stitch marker. And a double. And a skip to our other stitch marker. Just a normal Suzette, no increasing. So it's a single and a double and a skip. All the way to the other marker. And almost done. Couple more Suzettes. Single and a double and a skip. And a single and a double. And then one more stitch right here, which is one we're going to skip. Hooray! So then the next half of our hat, it's actually a little bit less than half now that we've increased, but the other half with its all single crochets, we want to do that again. Jump over, you gotta skip that stitch, and then all 80 of these will be single crochets again.
all the way around to the other stitch marker. And almost done with this part of round 13. Almost done. A couple more stitches. Hooray! There we go. So that was just half of it was normal. A normal Suzette. And then the other half, on top of the Suzettes, it was Suzettes. And on top of the single crochets, it was single crochets again. Now we're going to switch it up just a little bit. On top of everything that's a Suzette, we're going to do a slip stitch this time. But don't make them too tight because you need to work into them again. If you make your slip stitch really tight, that will be a nightmare. So we want to work into each stitch with a nice, loose slip stitch until you get to the next stitch marker. So the slip stitches are on top of our Suzette stitches. So I will meet you at the other stitch marker in just a second. Almost done with my loose slip stitches on top of all of the Suzette stitches. All the way around to the other stitch marker. There we go. And now I'm at single crochets again. Single crochet everything. Those last 80 do just like we have been. All of the single crochets get another single crochet right into them. All the way around. 80 more. And almost done. There's all last couple of my singles. Single crochet and one more. Back to their stitch marker. And now we are going to do the same thing all over again. We're going to slip stitch in the top of everything that we just slip stitched, which was into the Suzette area. And then single crochet in the single crochets, just like we just did. So this is why you wanted to do your slip stitches rather loosely because we need to get back into every one of those again with another slip stitch. But it makes a really sturdy edge. So I'll meet you at the other stitch marker after you get all of your slip stitches done. And here's my last few slip stitches and then we're just going to keep right on going after the slip stitching, once we hit the other marker, we're going to keep right on going with, oh, one more there. I made that one too tight. With the single crochets. Now we did all of our slip stitches, starting at the blue with single crochets all the way back to the other stitch marker. And here's my last few single crochets for this round. And there's the last one. Yay! Hooray! On all of the Suzettes we did slip stitch twice around and on all of the single crochets we did single crochets. Now we are mostly done. We are done with the brim of our hat and we're done with the base of our hat right here. So the brim is done, the base is done. Now we're going to work on the crown of our hat this part right here and it's really going to be fast. This one goes a lot faster because now we get to reduce. So what we want to do, find that stitch marker right here that was showing the right side and not the wrong side, right side of your single crochets. That one should be facing out. We want to take this stitch marker and this stitch marker and bring them together. So now you can see we are creating this. By matching these up, we can now work on the crown of our hat. Okay, so we're going to go through that same stitch we just did our very last single crochet in and over here to our blue and let's just do a slip stitch. And now they're connected. So now we have the round part up top. 
right here. And what we're going to do is work into all of the single crochets. The part of our rounds that had the Suzette and the slip stitch are no longer going to be worked. So we did our slip stitch there. Now I want to single crochet. I'm going to mark that one with the blue. That was my single crochet. All the way around. 78, 79, and there's number 80. So now we have 80 around the top, just the single crochets. So we have 80. Remember, we're done with this part. Yay, we're totally done with the brim. So we're just going to work on the crown of the hat, three rounds of Susan. Single crochet, move our stitch marker, and a double in that same stitch, and a skip, and repeat all the way around. Move my last stitch, hooray! Three rounds of Suzette. Three rounds, three rounds. So we get a nice, so we get this cute little stripe right here. So you get a cute little stripe right there. And now that I'm done with my three rounds of Suzette, I'm going to do two rounds of single crochet. Just to even out all these stitches, we're going to single crochet two rounds. So I'll meet you back here after those two rounds of single crochet are done and then we will reduce the crown of our hat and be done. And there's my last couple stitches of my second round of single crochet. There we go. Hooray! A little stripe right in here of Suzette that matches our brim. Alright, now we get to reduce the crown of our hat so it's closed on top. I do this a little differently, but it's not crazy. It's still easy, pretty easy to follow. These are all going to be single crochets. So there's my first single crochet. We're taking this down from 80 down to 70. So the first seven stitches will be single crochets. There's number two, number three, four, five, six, and seven. Then you want to skip the next stitch and do seven single crochets in a row again. Six and seven and skip one. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven and a skip and keep repeating that until we get back to the stitch marker. Seven single crochets in a row and then skip. And here's my last set of seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Right, so we skip our very last stitch, go back over to our marked stitch and we'll go a single crochet because so we're going to reduce for another round. We're reducing down from 70 to 60. So there's our first one. The first six are single crochets. So we already did number one. Number two, three, four, five, and six. And then we skip and do six again, just like we did before with the sevens. Two, three, four, five, six, and skip. And that's our sequence all the way around. We're reducing down to 60. And here's my last little bit for this reducing round. And number six. And we skip the last one and jump right to our marked stitch. And now we're going to reduce one more time. So it is five single crochets in a row and then we'll skip. Move my stitch marker. One, two, three, four, five, and skip. Two, three, four, 
five and skip and that's your sequence all the way back around here's my last set of five one two three four and five single crochets and skip the last one skip the last one and we're going to reduce again but you're totally going to get it four single crochets in a row and then a skip all the way around one two three four and skip and my last set of four one two three and four and a skip and the next round is the same we're going to reduce one more time we're going to go three single crochets in a row and then our skip almost done almost done one two three whoops two and three and a skip all the way around. And there's my last set of three. One, two, three, and the last one will be skipped. One more reduce. So this time it's going to be two single crochets in a row before we skip. There's one, two, and skip. One, two, and skip all the way around. And there's my last two stitches in this round. There's one, two, and the last one is a skip. All right, now we want to finish this off with a nice long tail. Let's pull this through and now get out a needle because we really are almost done. It's going to be awesome. Get out a needle, thread your needle. We are going to go into every stitch around the top. Our last 20 stitches here. So we can cinch this closed. Just kind of weave in and out. So we're all the way back to the beginning. And then overlap it one or two more just to make sure get a nice close. We're going to cinch this shut like that. Get rid of, okay, take out our stitch marker now. Just do a little whip stitch and send it on through so you can finish off the whole piece on the inside. And just take your needle send it on through. Finish it off from the inside so you don't have any extra stitches that are showing that you don't want to have showing. And just sew this shut. However you want to do it. There, that's done. Tuck that back. You can take out this stitch marker is done and so is this little one that was showing us the right side and now everything just gets flipped up so it looks just like this one so there you go there's my new little bit improved version i like the way that it finishes a little bit better the stitches look nicer so that's why i did an update on it stitches look a lot better this one is my favorite i really like this color so this is my new hat that i love hopefully i have it on straight Thanks for stopping by. Thank you for supporting my small business. Please subscribe to Thimblehooks, and I'll see you real soon. Thanks. Bye.